Good morning, St. Mark's. It's Sharon Hunt, and I am coming to you from Tampa Bay, Florida. So throughout the Bible, Jesus made clear statements about who he was. There's no ambiguity about his life, his mission, and his purpose. God has always been clear with his people that he is love. And he is all that we need. In Exodus 3.14, God says to a nervous Moses, I am who I am. He is filling Moses with confidence and assurance for the journey ahead. And still today, in times of uncertainty, in Jesus, we find a clear statement of truth. These declarations of truth are about more than Jesus declaring his identity. These declarations, they shape our identity. The more we discover about who he is, the more we will discover about who we truly are. Jesus' declarations were statements of fact. His I am's become our truths. Who he is shapes who we are. Let's make it personal by bringing it into the first person. You could read these declarations aloud with me. Because he is the resurrection, I am alive. Because he is the bread of life, I am made new. Because he is the Lamb of God, I am saved and redeemed. Jesus' journey to the cross and his crucifixion was the fulfillment of his purpose on earth. He was making a way for us to have a free and intimate relationship with God. He had referenced this moment many, many times, declaring that he is or was the gate through which every person could be saved. He is the only way to salvation. In John 14, 6, Jesus declared, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Then, through his sacrifice on the cross, he made a way for us to experience this truth. Through a rugged cross and an empty tomb, we discover that we are made new. Today, let's remember that who Jesus is has a deep and lasting impact on who we are. So my question for you today is, which of Jesus' I am declarations do you need to take into your heart today? Let's pray. Jesus, I just, I thank you for who you are. I thank you that when you died on the cross, it, um, it was for me. Today that I know that I am a new creation because of who you are and the price you paid on the cross. I am so thankful that I choose to remember you today. Amen. Have a blessed day, St. Mark's.